You are listening to Sacred Heart of Jesus Radio, a ministry of the Order of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. Hello everyone and welcome to today's morning prayer. We begin by saying, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Sacred Heart of Jesus, we thank you for watching over us last night and for bringing us safely to this day. Sacred Heart of Jesus, you are worthy of all thanks and praise. Have mercy on us. Sacred Heart of Jesus, we offer this day to you. Fill our hearts with humbleness, compassion, mercy, and love, our Sacred Heart, our Lord. May all hearts be united to your sacred heart. Grant that we may be transformed to your image, a living bread from heaven. Lord Jesus Christ, meek and humble you died on the cross for us, yet aware of your great sacrifice we have continued to sin against you. Your sacred heart has shown us perfection. You have given us Oh, your love, but we have not loved you with a whole heart. We have not followed your example. When your sacred heart invited us to love our neighbors and our enemies as we love ourselves, we turned and walked away. When you gave us the opportunity to be merciful and forgive those who have hurt us, we often closed our hearts instead. We prostrate ourselves before your throne and implore that you forgive our sins. Purify our hearts so that we may perfectly and worthily love and magnify your sacred heart. Amen. Sacred heart of Jesus, we do always and everywhere give you thanks and praise. For you are holy, holy, holy Lord. You are indeed the fountain of all goodness. We thank you for the immeasurable stream of mercy that pours out freely from you, our adorable heart. We rejoice at knowing that your forgiveness and compassion are constantly manifested in our life because of your unending grace. Let all who acknowledge you, King of Kings, praise you and thank you day and night. We now take this moment to bring to mind the needs of the Christian church, we especially pray for persecuted brothers and sisters who suffer at the hands of those who hate Jesus. And Lord, we pray that you send your angels before them to remove all obstacles out of their way and to encamp around them and protect them from all attacks of the enemy. So pray, Heavenly Father, for those who persecute your people, that your Holy Spirit may touch their hearts so that their eyes may be opened and they may become your followers. And Jesus, we pray for all bishops, especially we pray for Archbishop Brown. We pray for all the apostles, priests missionaries, deacons, religious, and all people. And gracious Father, we pray for those who are sick, especially those who suffer from cancer, lupus, multiple sclerosis, diabetes, autoimmune diseases, neuromuscular diseases, neurological diseases, mental health problems, drug addiction, or any other form of addiction. We pray for those who are grieving, we pray for the homeless, the poor, the unemployed, and the oppressed. We pray for an end to domestic violence, an end to the abuse of women and children. We also pray, Heavenly Father, for Louis. Have mercy on Louis, O Lord, and strengthen him in all goodness. Guide him 
keeping close to you, Lord. And we pray that Louis and Melissa will be reunited in marriage. It appears that there's some issues going on. Um, that the issues on both sides may be resolved. And that uh, both of them will reunite um, and focus their lives on serving you and doing your will and following your ways. And from the love that comes from their relationship to you, to have a stronger marriage and to be a stronger influence on those around them. We also bring to you, Lord, the special intentions for the order of the sacred heart of Jesus. Lord, we pray that when we come together for prayer, we may pray in the Spirit at all times, in every prayer and supplication. Lord, have mercy. Merciful Father, without your Holy Spirit, we are nothing but emptiness and confusion. Let us be filled with the Holy Spirit, so that we may be inspired to pray according to your will and purpose. Lord, have mercy. Gracious Father, as you fill us with your Holy Spirit, let the manifestation of the Spirit be given to us. Grant us a message of wisdom. Grant us a message of knowledge. Increase our faith. Bless us with the gifts of healing. Give us miraculous powers. Give us the gift of prophecy, the gift of distinguishing between spirits, the gift of speaking in different kinds of tongues, and the gift of interpretation of tongues. But more importantly, Lord, bless us with the gift of love, all according to your will, and for the glory of your holy name. Lord, have mercy. Lord Christ, in your mercy you have called us to serve you. We pray that you will guide us and inspire us by the Holy Spirit, so that when we speak, a message may be given to us to make known with boldness the mystery of the gospel. Lord, have mercy. Heavenly Father, we live in a time in the world attempts to contaminate every aspect of our life with contradictions to your word. Help us to be strong in you, God, and to rely on your power. Put your armor on us, God, so that we may be able to stand against the tricks of the devil. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, many refuse to hear your holy message and are being deceived by the enemy. The harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. We pray according to your will that you send out workers into your harvest field, that upon hearing your gospel, many will repent, be baptized, and be saved by your unending grace. Lord, have mercy. King of peace, as you ask, whom shall I send to proclaim your message of salvation into the world? Here am I, send me. Look kindly upon your servants. Gather here today I use each of us according to your gifts as ambassadors of your holy message here in our cities and around the world. Lord, have mercy. Lord God, heavenly King, revive us and we will call on your name. Restore us, O Lord, God Almighty. Make your face shine upon us that we may be saved. Bring a revival to each one of us, that from all revival, many will come to hear and accept the good news of salvation. Lord, have mercy. And now, as our Lord Jesus Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, heaven. hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as, as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Amen. O sacred heart of Jesus, to you I consecrate and offer up my person and my life, my actions, trials, and sufferings, that my entire being may henceforth only be employed in loving honoring and glorifying you. This is my irrevocable will, to belong entirely to you and to do all for your love, 
renouncing with my whole heart all that can displease you. I take you, O sacred heart, for the sole object of my love, the protection of my life, the pledge of my salvation, the remedy of my frailty and inconstancy, the reparation for all the defects of my life, and uh, my secure refuge at the hour of my death. I pray that you, O most merciful heart, be my justification before God, your Father, and screen me from his anger, which I have so justly merited. I fear all, fear all from my own weakness and malice, but placing my entire confidence in you, O heart of love, I hope all from your infinite goodness, annihilate in me all that can displease or resist you, imprint in me your pure love so deeply in my heart that I may never forget you or be separated from you. I beg you through your infinite goodness, grant that my name be engraved upon your heart, for in this I place all my happiness and all my glory to live and to die as one of your devoted servants. Amen. Amen. This concludes today's morning prayer. I am so glad you were able to tune in and pray with us today. I hope that you will be able to join us later on when we do afternoon and evening prayer today and throughout the week as we do these prayers every day, three times a day, God willing and technology allowing. If you like to submit a prayer request or if you like to find out more about our ministry, come by our website at sacredheartsjesus.org. That is sacredheartsjesus.org. Also, we have a new application uh, that you can get from the Google Play uh, website. All you have to do is go to Google Play, type in Sacred Hearts of Jesus Chapel, and our application uh, should come up. Install it, and one of the things that you can get from the application is you can you have a, a, a stream for the broadcast that you can listen to at your uh, leisure, and also we have in there a copy of the daily prayers for the order of the Sacred Heart of Jesus uh, handbook. Uh, it's in the digital form, so you can take it with you wherever you go. Just download it, put it in your cell phone. So wherever you go, especially if, like uh, when you're traveling, and of course it's very difficult when one travels to determine whether or not there's going to be a connection wherever you are. Well, having the prayers in the written form certainly facilitates you being able to do your prayers wherever you are. Uh, also, if you will take a second of your time and click on the share or reshare button of your application and share this prayer with as many people as you can. There's a lot of people out there hurting. A lot of people who are hurting in silence by sharing these prayers, which is oftentimes the only connection to the outside world that some people have. And when I say that, it's not that they don't live in a, uh, in, 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 in a, in a regular city or, or town. It's that they are so spiritually and emotionally isolated that the only access they have to human contact is through social networks. There are some also who have contacts outside of the social networks, but they are unwilling to share their pain for whatever reason. Their suffering is kept within. Well, by sharing these prayers, you are giving folks like that the opportunity to connect with the heart of Jesus. And if you connect with the heart of Jesus, you know that change is going to come from that and it's going to be positive change. It's going to be spiritual change. And you could prevent someone from being lost to the enemy by sharing these prayers with them. It only takes you one tiny second of your time. It's essentially an effortless activity, but it's a powerful activity nonetheless. It's a powerful way of helping people connect with the 